Survival story from the desert. A man made a motorcycle from a wrecked car. This amazing story happened to 43-year-old Frenchman Emile Leray. At one time, spread all over the world, and all because he managed to get out of seemingly absolutely hopeless situation, thanks to his brain and good knowledge of mechanics. It all started when Emil decided to cross the African desert on his own Citroën 2CW. But as soon as he approached the starting point of the planned road, he was stopped by the military and reported that the road was closed due to the armed conflict between Morocco and Western Sahara. Naturally, the traveler was not going to stop, and therefore decided to wave a fraud, hoping to go around to restricted area. At first, the car briskly walked over stones and bumps, ledges jumped a little higher and heavily nodded with a loud metal crack. Inspection showed that the lower suspension arm and the front of the frame were broken and the front axle was bent almost 19 degrees. We arrived, as they say. All night Emil thought about what to do next. The nearest village was about 32 kilometers across the desert and there was still food and water supply. Going there on foot was a risky deal. It was then that he became up with the idea to disassemble the car unsuitable for repair and try to assemble a motorcycle out of it. He took on his journey on the key tools, pliers, hammer and the hacksaw for metal. This was enough to assemble a new vehicle. To join the pieces together, he would bend the edges of the metal pieces at 19 degrees, punch holes in them with a hammer and then twist all the pieces together. Leray hoped that all the work would take him no more than 3 days, but due to the harsh weather conditions from the heat of the day and the night cold, he did in the back of a disassembled Citroën. It took him 12 days to assemble the motorcycle. When water and food were already running out, Emil completed work on his Frankenstein. The motorcycle could move no faster than 20 km per hour. But the main thing is that it was driving. With the last bit of strength, the would-be traveler still managed to get to civilization, where he immediately met with the Moroccan police, who, without further ado, issued him a huge fine. The fact is that he put the registration number of his car on the motorcycle. The mismatch of the vehicle became the reason for the stop. But these were already trifles. Compared the fact that Emil managed to survive in the desert, it was a miracle. Do you think this accident discouraged him from the traveling? Of course not. He returned to Africa more than once for a new portion of extreme sensation. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. See you and have a good day.